Meantime, an African-American father and a radio host slamming critical race theory for creating hate, he says, among kids. His powerful speech at a school board in Illinois has gone viral. Here's part of that. So when you talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other, that's pretty much what it's going to that's pretty much, I don't care what it's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. You're going to deliberately teach kids this white kid right here got it better than you because he white? You're going to personally tell a white kid, oh, the black people are all down to suppress. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm sitting here oppressed? Well, how did I get where I am right now if some white man kept me down? Well, that father is with me now, Ty Smith, father too. How you doing, Ty? Good morning to you. You get a lot of attention for this. Nice to see you on a yeah. Friday. You, you know, I, I, I like this quote from you. You said, I worked my way through college, hustled my butt off to get through college, no mom, no dad. Why, well, why, why is that hard work mentality so absent from this discussion today? I think because people are just scared to face the reality that in America, you can strive to do what you want to. Now, also, I want to make something real clear here. When I say no mom, no dad, definitely no father. But my mom was with us up to a certain extent. And then with four sons, it became super hard for her to actually just raise us. It was just too hard. So we literally had to just start fending for ourselves, right? So what I what, what really burns me about this is that going through college, look, I'm, I'm married. I've been married for 20 years. I just celebrated being married 20 years to my wife, right? Through college, I was going to school full time, right? And I was on a scholarship and doing track and field. I went to school full time, 21 credit hours. When I went to school from seven to like around noon to one, I went to track practice from one to three. And then I went and worked at a furniture warehouse from 4.30 to 11 o'clock at night. I would come home and hit the books and study from like to midnight into the wee hours of the morning to repeat that process while taking care of my wife and my two sons in college. So to be able to hustle and go through all that, it's hard for me to accept anybody that's saying they can't do anything that they want to do because some type of system or some type of invisible white father entity is holding them down. How old are your kids? My sons right now are 19 and 17 uh -huh. years old. And what have you taught them about failure? You, you've, you probably hit some walls here or there along, along the way. I, how'd you push through? Well, the thing is, because I'm so competitive, my sons see that. I don't, I don't have to sit down and tell them, son, when you fail, this goes on. No, what they do, they see it. They see it. They see things that we went through in life. They seen the struggle that we went through as they were growing. They seen things that I had to do. They seen how I had to make sure that this was in check or this one in check. And if it didn't go the way that I wanted it to go, they never saw me like, oh, man, what am I going to do now? This is no, no, I've never done that. I just said, OK, that didn't work. So now let me figure out another strategy, because guess what? Anybody that wants to have anything in their life that they really, truly desire, won't, they won't let anything hold them back. Failure is not a bad thing. Failure is just saying, hey, that strategy didn't work, so let's try mm. from a different perspective yeah. or a different angle. People don't want that, though. I, I, I can relate. Um, many, however, believe that critical race theory is important discussion in America. No, it's not. Well, no, I mean, I, go, theory, go ahead and make no. a case, but why do they believe it's so necessary in the classroom? They, to me, it's just a whole bunch of nonsense, virtue signaling, just trying to play off of people's emotions. There is no, the only race it is is the human race. I, don't, I never raised my sons to see anybody as a color. Color was never even discussed in my house at all. All we know is that as, my, as children grow, they just see other kids, and they'll just immediately start playing. There is no, a child sees them and like, why is his skin color like that of mine? They, we never discussed that. When it all comes down to it, people are just people. My sons never had a talk about white people, about Asian people. All they know is that they were people. They were their friends. They played with them. They never once came home and said, Dad, my white friend across the street, that they just said my friends. But the people, the fact that they want to focus so much on race, I don't get why they're trying to focus so much on yeah. race. What is so important about just the color of my skin? Because last question on this then, Ty. Uh, uh -huh. among, uh, you, you mentioned your white neighbor across the street, among your African-American friends. Do they support your position on this? Or do they push back on you? 80% of African Americans are completely supporting me because coming from the ghetto, coming from the hood of projects, they see me come out of it. So they're supporting it. But you do got people that's part of a narrative that don't even know me that they have a whole nother different agenda. But I know what's going on behind it. I know what's going on behind that. They're just pushing the whole different agenda that they're trying to push what the left want them to do is to make it seem like black people can't succeed. Ty, I'm jumping in here. It's Dana Perino. I've loved this interview. I just had a question for you. What's your secret to happiness for 20 years of marriage? Congratulations on that. The secret to happiness is keeping Jesus first. Absolutely. If my wife has her mind stayed on Jesus and God, and she has her personal relationship with him, and he's leading her guy into all truth and righteousness, and I have my own, that's what keeps us together. Absolutely. 20 years. Congratulations thank you, thank you, on that, Ty. Thanks for being here. I see it. We'll follow, you know, what you have to say on it, okay? Because um, 
I mean, you're sticking out. <laughs> Thank you, Ty. Appreciate it. Yep. Ty Smith. <laughs> What is going on folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh, can help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you forgot to get to know who I am first though, right? Then you're going to click right here to lead you into this description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, all right? Let peace.